So today I'm going to be building a music server using software called Rune and Rune manages a music library uh, a bit like iTunes but unlike iTunes when you rip a CD and you end up with 14 albums with one track in each uh, Rune is is a bit more sophisticated and uh, it manages my music library on my uh, network attached storage uh, or my flat files and it merges that with my subscription to Tidal. So the software we're going to be installing today is Rune Rock and Rune Rock is Rune Optimized Core Kit Rock and um, Rock is a do-it-yourself build for Rune operating system. Um, it basically runs uh, the stock Linux Rune server and it's an extremely lightweight Linux based operating system. Can't run any other software. Um, it just runs the, the Rune core. So you don't put music on it, your music lives somewhere else on your network or, or an attached hard drive. So it's just a, a tiny headless computer, so I say headless in the fact that it doesn't have a, a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, um, and you, you just see the machine on your network. Um, so we're going to be building one today and, and the components we've got is uh, a very small PC. It's uh, an Intel Nook and uh, this is the 10th generation, it's now 11th generation but Rune only supports up to the 10th generation and it's running an Intel i7 processor. So it's, it's the highest specification that Rune supports and um, so I'm going to be building the machine. It comes as a kit, it says uh, a mini PC kit. I'm going to be installing uh, some RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 250 gigabytes of uh, M.2 storage. Uh, so, so these two are going to go in and uh, we need to make some changes to the BIOS. Then we need to, to flash the NUC with the uh, image of the, the, the Linux software. So let's get this unpacked. The power brick is actually nearly the same size as the computer. So you can see we have uh, LAN port, HDMI, power, um, some USBs and some uh, more USBs at the front and, and a uh, power switch. So we're going to start off by installing the RAM. This is uh, 16 gigabytes, but uh, eight would have been perfectly sufficient. There are two slots, and we're just going to pop this in the bottom slot and just press it down until it clicks. Next, we're going to install the M.2 drive, and uh, this is held in place by uh, a little screw on the board. So we're going to the smaller screwdriver for that. I'm just going to take this screw out first. And this slots in. And it's held in place with this little screw. And that's it. Job done. So when we first switch on the NUC, it tells us that a bootable device has not been detected. We haven't installed any software on the device to run it, so we need to, to restart and we need to make some changes to the BIOS. So after I had updated the BIOS, I then just needed to install the, the software 
from a flashed image file on a USB drive um, and then restore the previous database from my previous server and Rune was ready to go. And you can see that I've installed the Nook uh, on the, the base plate uh, in the wall of my office. It just needs a LAN cable and a power cable. And this is Rune here on my iPad. And you can see that uh, Rune portrays your information in a, in a very friendly, accessible style. It gives you lots of information about what you've been listening to, um, the radio stations, the artists that you've listened to the most, and it gives you recommendations as to who you should be listening to. One of the things I like is Rune Radio. It's not a radio station like these radio stations, uh, but it basically takes an album that you've listened to and continues playing the same uh, same genre, same similar sort of artist, so that you can discover new music. And once you click on an album, you get an awful lot of information about that album. Um, you can see uh, who played on the album, what other albums they have played on. So an awful lot of information to drill down into. If I want to play this album, I have to decide where I want to play it in the house. So you see I have speakers on the third floor, in my bathroom, my cinema, my gym, in the kitchen, the living room and the bedroom. So I can send music from Rune to anywhere in the house. So on my mobile phone, I can access um, Rune and I can send it to any room in the house. So here you can see that we have the server software installed in my office. The music either on Tidal or in FLAC files on a NAS in my cinema and all accessed and made available through Rune.